Long live freedom, damn it. Yes, back here with Javier Millet in this libertarian, anarcho-capitalist planet. Javier Millet is still asleep. He's a night owl. He doesn't like to, to sleep at night. He likes to sleep daytime and you must, you know, keep your characters happy. <laughs> Otherwise, they might have a nervous breakdown. Rimworld, an anarcho-capitalist game. There is no state, no taxes. So Javier Millet is living the freedom <laughs> he likes so much. In theory, now he has to live it. In real life, yes, here in my game, the anarcho-capitalism is real. The free market is totally free. Good morning, Javier Millet. If you do not know who Javier Millet is, he's a, a libertarian congressman, was elected here in Argentina, and he's really entertaining. I recommend you to take a look. He has tons of content on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you just type Javier Milei and you're going to see tons of content, all of them really entertaining. Javier Milei is really aggressive, you know. He likes to debate, he likes to talk, he likes to to tell communists to go back to Cuba, <laughs> go live in Venezuela and Cuba and have a shot of what communism is all about in those countries. I have rare thrumbles here. Those are huge animals. They look like, I don't know, giraffes with horns. The horns are really vi valuable, but I do not have the guts to fight them because Javier Millet is not good at fighting. I chose a character that was good with plants and construction, so that way I can keep myself alive. The first thing you should think about is, of course, the food. That's why you should plant. You know, I would plant rice because it grows, it grows faster. I was attacked by communists. <laughs> the red wave, the red communist wave, the red menace came. A really dangerous bald guy came to, to try to take my private property, and I had to use my traps because. Millet is not good at fighting. This will be a very interesting year here in Argentina because not this one, the next one, 2000, uh, 20, 2023, it's going to have elections here. Christina Kirchner wants to be back and Javier Millet wants to be, wants to be the next president and I believe he has a shot. You know, he's loved by, by younger people and He's cooking. Oh, look at that. Does Javier Millet know how to cook? <laughs> yes, he is cooking. You should think about cooking as soon as you can because it saves resources and, of course, your characters get in a better mood if they eat real food. What I'm doing here now is building my research table. I need batteries badly because I do not know if this winter is going to be harsh. I had another game with Elon Musk that I that I had to let it go because people were complaining about the Bandicam watermark. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, but I had no choice because I had no luck with o OBS. But now, as you can see, I have no Bandicam watermark anymore. I restarted the game. My research table is ready. Mille is really competent at building, so he's effective building the walls. Excellent game, Canadian game made by Tynan Sylvester. If you want to check it out, you can find it on Steam. It has the ratings of 98% positive, you know, among 2,000 users, so people really enjoyed it. I, I thought my my gaming days were over. I thought I retired <laughs> from from playing video games, didn't have fun anymore. I didn't have fun playing games anymore. My daughter sometimes comes with a 
an Android game that I usually hate. <laughs> so, but Rimworld was a breath of fresh air. I find it entertaining and it, it helps me sleep. I suffer have badly from insomnia. I'm just like Belay here in the game. I'm a night owl. And Rimworld actually helps. I find even the art very interesting characters. As you can see, have no arms, <laughs> no legs. They're just sticks with heads, but but with a lot of character, no? If you take a look, they always look angry and ready for to a fight. <laughs> yeah. It's just the start of the game. This is the most difficult setting. I chose you actually land here after a bad surgery or something, and you must survive in this anarcho capitalist planet so much is going on right now with with ideology and everything you know? and in here you can choose with detail you can customize your ideology to everything it's going to take you some time believe me in fact you must have tons of free time if you think about playing dream world where is the battery it's right here that's what i need to store my energy but that's more going to be in the near future when it's still spring so summer is coming and i'm going to have some time to actually plant more and harvest more food by the time winter comes take a look at that how much how much it, it's a real violent game sometimes it's really blurry. I, I had another game with Javier Millet that I lost. And I chose the most difficult setting of all. And I lost that game. It got really bloody. Everybody started eating each other <laughs> like cannibals, like Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil. Yes, they said even, even that Jair Bolsonaro was a cannibal. That's, that's a way to really want to win elections no no my ad adversary is a cannibal <laughs> how can you vote for a cannibal oh jesus christ politics who takes politics so seriously anyway i sure don't i grab a popcorn and i just want to enjoy myself i don't care i don't even believe in democracy fuck it i don't see the point at all of giving my vote to someone so that person can have a better life than me? What is he ever going to do for me? Nothing. So, who cares? I don't even... I, I'm not sure about the last time I voted. I think it was... I think it was for Dilma Rousseff in Brazil. But because I needed a passport. <laughs> in, in Brazil, you can get into trouble if you don't vote. And I was there, so okay, whatever, I'm going to vote. And why I voted for Juma? Because she's, well, you know, was helping the poor, I think. <laughs> I was in a better monetary situation then. Right now I'm totally broke. Not that I care, you know, fuck it, whatever. But I voted the last time and I don't see the point of democracy. I do not believe in it. I don't care about it. If you do care about it, if you like your democracy, keep voting, man. <laughs> and enjoy Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden, come on. Joe Biden, Lula in Brazil is back. Come on, please, populist, shameless populist. That guy, he was crying the other day. Oh, I want to help the poor people. And afterwards, he goes to a five-star hotel. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How easy it is for a for someone in politics to live, no? Yeah, amazing. Let the people buy, pay for all your your good laugh, lifestyle. Come on. And Millet, Millet actually puts that in, puts the finger right there, you know, puts his very thumb. He says that we shouldn't have politics, you know, they are just parasites, they should be exterminated. And I really like that about Millet. That's the part where I, where he gets my attention is when he's attacking the, poli the politics in general. I think that's this, the, the, his strongest point. People were really tired 
of supporting those parasites for nothing in return. At any case, my time is up, 10 minutes. Don't forget to check out Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. He has a channel on YouTube and he has tons of, of libertarian debates you're going to enjoy yourself. That's it for today. Zurdos, hijos de puta, tiemblen. La libertad avanza. ¡Viva la libertad, carajo!